Hello, Sam. Hi, Pissar. So, in today's session, we are going to understand the relationship between addition and subtraction, right? Yes, Sam. And not only that, we will also be seeing how we can apply this knowledge to solve problems. That's fantastic, Miss R. Uh, can I first share what I think? Of course. Now, I have already understood that adding implies bringing together and subtraction implies taking away. That tells me that addition and subtraction are opposites. You are right, Sam. Another way of saying this is that addition and subtraction have an inverse relationship. Now, let us translate this into mathematical terms using the example of cupcakes. Here, we have some chocolate cupcakes and some strawberry cupcakes which we are going to bring together or add. Now, in mathematical terms, the numbers being added are called addends. So, chocolate cupcakes become the first addend and the strawberry becomes the second addend. When we add them together, we get a mix of chocolate and strawberry cupcakes. In mathematical language, this will be the sum which is the result that we get on adding add-ins. Now, notice when from the mix of cupcakes or the sum, we take away strawberry cupcakes, the second add-in. We are left with the first add-in, chocolate cupcakes. And similarly, if from the mix or sum, we take away the first add-in, the chocolate cupcake, then we are left with the second add-in, the strawberry cupcakes. So, to summarize, we already knew that first add-in plus second add-in gives us the sum. Now, we also know that sum minus first add-in gives us the second add-in and sum minus second add-in gives us the first add-in. Correct, Sam. Now, let us look at this as a subtraction equation. Sum minus first addend equals second addend. Now, when we have a subtraction equation, the number from which we are subtracting or taking away is called the minuend. So, the mix of chocolate and strawberry sum is the minuend. The number being subtracted is called the subtrahend. So here, our first addend, the number of chocolate cupcakes, is the subtrahend. And the answer is called the difference, which in this equation is the second addend, the strawberry cupcakes. And we know that if we add the chocolate cupcakes and strawberry cupcakes, then we get the mix of chocolate and strawberry cupcakes. So subtrahend plus difference will give us the minuend? That is correct. Subtrahend plus difference equals minuend. Also remember that if we take away strawberry cupcakes from the mix, we get the chocolate cupcake. So, minuend minus difference equals subtrahend? Very good, Sam. So, let's summarize this. We already know that minuend minus subtrahend equals difference. Now, we also know that minuend minus difference equals subtrahend and subtrahend plus difference equals minuend. But how does knowing all this help me? What is the use of learning this? Well, let's see some examples of problems we can solve using this knowledge. The sum of the ages of Tara and her mother is 45. If Tara is 10 years old, then how old is Tara's mother? Now, Tara's age is 10. And if to that we add her mother's age, which we do not know as of now, the answer is 45. Here 10 is the first add-in 
we need to find the second add-in and the sum is 45. Now, we know that if from the sum we subtract the first add-in, then we get the second add-in. 45 minus 10, which is 35, is the age of Tara's mother. Oh, wow! That's interesting. Let's see another one. 25 persons entered the lift. How many persons need to come out for the lift to work if its capacity is 18 persons? So 25 is the initial number of persons. We need to take out some number which we need to find out. Take out or remove or take away means to subtract. And when we take out this number, the answer that we will get will be 18. So this is a subtraction equation. And as we can see, minuend is 25, subtrahend is unknown and the difference is 18. So we need to find the subtrahend. Now we have learnt that if we know the minuend and the difference, we can find the subtrahend by taking the minuend and subtracting the difference from it. 25 minus 18 equals 7. So 7 is the number of persons that need to come out. Amazing! Let's see one more. Out of all the children in the class, 14 like bananas and the remaining 12 like oranges. How many children are there in the class? Here, we do not know the total number of children in the class. Now, if from the total number of children in the class, we take out the number of children who love bananas, which means we subtract 14, the remaining number or answer is 12. So, in this case, the minuend is unknown, the subtrahend is 14 and the difference is 12. Now, we have learnt that we can get the minuend by adding subtrahend and the difference. So, 14 plus 12 equals 26. Hence, the total number of children in class is 26. This is super cool, Miss R. Thanks for teaching me. <laughs> You're most welcome, Sam. Until next time, please like, share and subscribe.